Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at how to change the image of uh, our profile image right here. So we're, we're going to add a button here where we click change image. So right now this button doesn't do jack, but uh, we can change that real quick. So what you want to do is go to your folder, the website folder, and inside um, settings right here. So let's open settings. Oh, I already have it open. Great. Okay, so let's look for that button right here. So that button is um, here, change image. Now, instead of uh, this input type button, we're going to say input type um, file like this. And let me refresh the page and there we go. So you see browse, no file selected. So I can click browse right here and I'll be able to uh, browse my computer for files. And then if I do that, let me find um, some files here. People, I think I have quite right, great. So if I load uh, an image from here, let me just uh, find an image to load. Now you see what's happening here is that uh, this thing will show you the selected image right there. And then once you click browse, you still have to click another button which says upload. So I don't like how this thing works. And then the, the, the worst part of it is that this uh, control is very difficult to style. So I would rather just uh, hide it and use something else. So instead, but I still need its functionality for clicking here and bringing up this uh, because it's the only thing that can bring this up. So we must find a way to use it without actually using it. So let me come back here. Luckily, they, I, there is actually a way to do that. So I want to create a label instead like this, opening a label tag and closing label tag. Awesome, like this. Mm -hmm. Now I have this uh, input file type and it's got an ID of change image button. Right, 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 right. Hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to move this ID to this label right here so that the label looks like the button, okay? And then we're going to have this inside there. Great. And um, the ID for this one will change to, let's say something like uh, change image uh, input, something like that, just something different. So let me refresh and see, let's see what we've done now. So we don't see a difference. Okay, great. But what I can do is um, I don't actually need to see this thing. So I will move this dial oh, from there to here into the label. And then I will put a label on the label. So this value right here, which says change image, I will put it here as just simply text, right? And um, let me see actually what that does. Refresh. Ah, so there we go. So we see this change right there. Okay. And if you notice very well, it's change image like here. So this is the label right here. But if you've noticed when I click on the label, it actually still opens this thing. So the only thing I need to do is hide this uh, browse thing because the label will still click on it. When we click on the label, the label will click on this. Now, the thing is the label is cut in two and I don't like that. So to sort that problem out, we'll go to the styles and we're going to say display. We'll change its display setting to inline uh, block, inline block. That will make it a block, but it will still, de uh, it will still, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Behave like text, which has the uh, inline property. So let me click there. 
And so you see now this is the button. But now you don't need to put this browse thing inside the label, but uh, it doesn't matter in this case because we're still going to hide it. So I'm going to put a style on the, on the file input itself. And this one will be display none. That way it will disappear. So refresh settings and there we go. So if I click on this, I still get this thing, which is lovely. But let's make this look more like a button of some sort. See, change image button. Hmm. How come the other one was looking more like a button and not this one? So ID, let me uh, find this. Oh, so I don't have styles for this. Oh, bummer. So what I would do is I'll go to styles here and let me add a few styles here like padding for example I'm going to say padding 1m um, and then I'm going to put a border radius of uh, 5 pixels that should uh, make the button look more like a button yeah something like that great and one more thing I want it to have a cursor of pointer so I'm going to say cursor Hmm, something weird here. Okay, there we go. Cursor, pointer, like this. Refresh. Vroom. And there we go. Click. And we have this awesomeness. This is great. Okay, now we also need the ability to be able to simply drag and drop an image here. So drag and drop, and then the image will change. So. We're going to do that later. First of all, let's make this one work with simply uh, adding an image like this. So what I want is the moment somebody selects an image and then the upload process begins immediately. Okay, so to do that, what I wanna do is call a function. So to call a function, we want to call a function right on, the, um, on this input. So this input will have an event so what event can we use okay so we're going to use the i don't need this part the value because we're not seeing this anyway so it's going to be on change so on change is when the value of the the control changes so in this case when we add a file or we change it to a different file so it's activated so we're going to have a function called uh, upload because we might be uploading images in the chat itself, so we must make this one unique, the name. So we're going to say upload uh, profile, upload profile image, very original, right? So now instead of putting an event here, we don't need it to submit an event. We want it to submit the files that it contains at that point, whatever file it contains, that's what we want. So instead, we're going to say this dot files. Okay. So this is this is JavaScript in here. So it's this is whatever this item is, the whole control. So this item dot files. Now the reason why we're using dot files is because it has a a files property, because this thing is meant to get files. So of course it's got a files property. So we want to get that property and submit it into this function okay so let me copy this because uh i will need it to create this function since we haven't created it yet all right so i think this should do for for the settings.php great my uh, keyboard has uh, surrendered so it has switched off so let's go to index.php. Oh, my keyboard is back. Great. So index.php. And um, here we have to put our function. So let's just go to the very bottom here. Right at the bottom. Right. So let's create a function here and say function oops all right now my keyboard is acting up and that's why you're seeing all this uh thing going on here 
Okay, so let me just uh, cut the video right here so I can fix my keyboard for a moment and I'll be back.